Vlad is back. Sasha Baron Cohen is bringing back his faux Kazakh journalist character for a brand new movie that's set to lampoon President Trump, the coronavirus pandemic, and every other absurd aspect of existence that 2020 has cursed us with. But he's not doing it alone. All the cameos in Borat 2 suggest that the sequel could be even more impactful than its predecessor. In the new movie, the official title of which is Borat's subsequent movie film, delivery of prodigious bribe to American regime for make benefit once glorious nation of Kazakhstan, Borat returns to America after more than a decade away. But there's a problem. Given the original film's massive popularity, Borat is a celebrity here in the US as a result, Cohen needed to get clever to perform the same sort of real-life hijinks in the sequel as he did in the original. To do so, the actor has Borat go incognito while disguised as other characters during some segments of the film. In others, it's Borat's daughter Tutar, Maria Bakalova, who acts as his surrogate. And while the original movie was light on celebrity cameos, it only featured Pamela Anderson and a handful of relatively small-time politicians, the sequel is aiming higher. That's because the plot revolves around Borat gifting his daughter to Vice President Mike Pence as a way to restore glory to Kazakhstan after he disgraced the Central Asian nation in the first film. Take a look below for all the cameos in Borat 2. Mike Pence the Vice President appears during a scene in which Borat, disguised as Donald Trump, crashes Pence's speech at CPAC in February 2020. In the scene, Borat dressed as Trump makes his way through the crowd with Tutar over his shoulder, yelling to Pence that he brought him a girl. He is eventually drowned out by the crowd and escorted out of the building by security without interacting with Pence directly. Rudy Giuliani Donald Trump's personal lawyer was not as lucky as Pence. The former New York City mayor appears in an embarrassing and lengthy segment of the film, as he is interviewed by Tutar, believing that she is a representative from a right-wing news organization. In reality, Tutar is preparing to gift herself to Giuliani after being rebuffed by Pence. After their interview, which takes place in a hotel suite where they are the only two people present, Tutar asks Giuliani if he would like to join her in the bedroom for a drink. The pair then remove each other's microphones and Giuliani asks for Tutar's phone number and address as he touches the small of her back. He then lies back on the bed and puts his hands down the front of his pants, at which point Borat bursts in wearing lingerie. Borat says that Tutar is 15 and therefore too old for Giuliani, and he implores the lawyer to have sex with him instead, causing a confused Giuliani to spring up from the bed and rush out of the room.